Hello friends, today we're going to take a quick look at 2.1 again and I'm going to show you how you can create some great looking images. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to show you how to install 2.1 with your automatic 11.11. So there are two versions, you can either have the 5.12, which is uh, this link, or the 768 by 768 and that's the resolution that you want to work with. I would recommend running the 768 by 768. So I'm going to download that file here. Now, if you don't have a good GPU, you might need to pick the 512 by 512 one. But I mean, it is nice to get uh, some extra resolution with the 768 by 768. So if possible, try that one out. Just remember that when you render, you need to get the 768 by 768 resolution. And that's how you set here 768 768 okay so we have downloaded the file i'm going to put that into my stable fusion models stable fusion so if you're on in your root directory you're going to go to models stable fusion and from your downloads just drag that in there now you will be needing a yaml file if you don't have one i'm going to put a link in the comments below but um if you do have one, maybe you had it from the 2.0 version, you can just take that, make a copy, and rename it from the 2.1. And this will work for any new custom 2.1 model as well. Just take the YAML file that you have, copy it, and rename it. So now that we have installed, you need to make a little fix. Now, if you have Xformers already, you don't need to do that in this, and you can just skip past but if you don't, you need to find your web UI user. And then you're just gonna drag that into Notepad. And here, you it might look, look like this for you. Then you can type in Xformers. Now, if you don't have a graphic card that supports Xformers, Automatic 11.11 will let you know when you try and start it. So if that doesn't work for you, you can run it like this instead. Double dash, no dash, half. I'm going to run it with Xformers. And then just double click your web UI user. Okay, so we're now inside our stable diffusion. We have our checkpoints up here. We have the 2.1 loaded. So I'm just going to click that one. And now I have, while this is loading, I have prepared a prompt. Oh, well, actually, we're going to wait with the prompt a little bit. I'm going to show you first how most people did at the beginning and got, well, I'll show you. Let's say we want a dog. So let's put dog in here. And um, let's try four images. Well, let's start with two. This isn't going to look good. I can't tell you why, but it won't. So we had some sort of weird dog in the first one. It's actually dogs merged together like this is i don't know what's going on here and this is also terrible so this was people's first reaction to stable diffusion 2.0 and 2.1 now this can be fixed and let me just show you again but just and we have the random seed here so i not haven't prepared the seed at all i'm just just gonna run two new two new ones and you can see again that most likely they aren't going to be great. You see the generation, the first one just had a pattern of dogs. This also has a lot of dogs. And I mean, what to do with this? It's bad. So what you need to do is you need to massage the prompts and you need to add some negative prompts in there. And lucky you, I have prepared this. We're just going to put the negative prompt in first which is you can have a have a negative prompt that basically works for anything. So we're going to do a dog here, but it doesn't matter. This is a, a negative prompt that I use for people. It says ugly, disfigured, deformed, too many hands, makeup, cartoon, render, close up. Let's actually remove the close up there. And then we're going to add in a little something that I like. This is a raw candid camera. I'm going to have the subject here. And I want the color graded Portra 400 film, remarkable color, Ultra realistic. Um, we're gonna skip actually the film here for now. 
I'm gonna make it easy. We're just gonna put dog in here. And now, it's not a super long prompt. It's not one of those painted by Greg Gritkowski and Alphonse Motch and whatever in 4K octane render, 8K super hyper realistic. It's, it's, I mean, it's a short prompt and it's a short negative prompt. So raw candid cinema, dog, remarkable color, ultra realistic. And I'm gonna show you without cherry picking anything. I'm gonna take eight images here. The resolution, uh, the sampling steps, the scale, the seed, everything's the same. Well, the seed isn't the same, it's randomized. So I have no control of it. So I'm gonna render this. We're gonna see what happens. And first we have a, I think it has a golden retriever or something. It's a great picture. This is also a great picture. And um, I'll, I'll bet you that all of these eight are going to be great. Which wasn't the fact in 1.5, I might add. Then you had to cherry pick a lot. And what I've noticed in 2.1 is that you have worked a little bit with your prompt. 90% plus of your images will be good. At, if they're in a realistic style, that is. Now, anime stuff, different things like that, that's a whole uh, another video topic. So let's look at these. We have the first dog, looks great. This one, super cool. Here, um, I mean, this is amazing. This is a great picture. Again, nice, super. I don't know what the dog is doing on this bin here, but uh, I mean, the, the picture of the dog is cool. I mean, the rest of the image is good as well. This is nice. I mean, it's almost passable hands. We actually had a little something there. So, almost. This one's nice. Yeah, so I'd say with the 90% that we talked about, yeah. It was just this one that was a little wonky, but uh, the rest of them were great. We're actually going to do another one. With just change dog to um, woman. And let's go again. And I'll bet you again, without changing anything and without cherry picking, that these are going to look good. So we had some sort of feet sticking out, but that was a good image. And this. Seems to be a good image as well. We have a decent hand, it almost looked like. So let's check that out later. We have a woman standing in an orange dress here on the street. That looked might, could have been a little de de deformed face. But look at that. What I like in 2.1 is the skin texture. And the skin texture is freaking amazing compared to the other models. So we had, most of these were great. We're gonna look them over. We were missing part of the woman, but she could be out of frame, so. I mean, just look at this. Look at the skin texture. Look at the eyes, everything. And this is without fa face restoration. In 1.5, 1.4, you had to face restore everything. This is just running it straight out of the box. Let's keep checking. This one's nice. Hands aren't perfect, but they're passable. What I like about the new models are actually cloth or, or textures of clothing. I think that's just, it's just fantastic. Not great here, but it's, it's all right. Yeah, here we can see, here we have a deformed face. So this isn't very good. The rest of the image is uh, okay-ish. It's uh, leaning a little to the right. This one looks great, I think. Here we have a missing. This is more like it. Uh, now we have some uh, throwback to 1.4 and 1.5, where this was uh, commonplace. Here we have some deformed feet and hands, but I think the face seems to be okay-ish. So we're gonna run, just gonna put portrait in, see if we can get some more close-ups. Gonna run an eight, just just do a nine to get the last one in there. And again, I think we're gonna have like ninety percent again, the good images. There's always gonna be some crappy ones, but um, 
I mean, we can live with that. With the uh, amazing quality that we're getting on these. I mean, that second one, that was just amazing. This one's super cool. Just look at the eyes. You couldn't get these eyes in 1.4 and 1.5. And again, here, no, ch check this. No restore faces. And no high risk fix. Nothing. This is just standard, straight out of the box, Euler A, 24 step, well, 25 steps. These images are fantastic. So for photography in general, we have gone the the, the two point oh and two, the two point one for photography is a real upgrade, surely is. So let's look at this. This is cool. I like the faded film vibe of it. I mean, just look at this. Look at the texture here. This is great. This is nice. This is good as well. They they look more alive. They look look more real. Everyone's now these are, you know, obviously they're staged. They have this classic model look on their face, you know, the, the expression, so to speak. But the skin is is just it's much, much better. I mean this is this is great. Would you be able to tell that this is an AI generated image? I don't think so. I don't think so, to be honest. This is like a um, high aperture lens. Very nice photography. I mean, maybe you could have, you can talk about the, the ear, but everyone's, but every ear looks a little bit different. If someone sent me this, I wouldn't be able to tell. This one's nice. You can see a little cat eye there. Now this is a little blurry here from the, um, from the aperture of the lens, but Again, talking a little bit about the cloth here. I, I love what they're they're doing with it. Okay, so let's try and uh, let's look at um, look at some man. Actually, let's have an um, old man portrait to get some wrinkles in there, right? Okay, so here we have. You can see you're starting to see. Yeah, uh, they're all looking very realistic. I love what this is going. Now with the particular prompt I have, like raw, candid, etc., you're gonna have this um, style where everything is just, you know, the face is in focus and the background is, is out of focus because of the high aperture photography that people enjoy. You, always, you can always get that bulky effect sometimes. Okay, let's have a quick look at these. I mean, this one's great. This one's great too. It's just a regular guy. He works as a professor at a university. This guy's into fashion. I'm trying to find imperfections on the glasses or anything. No, it's a very distinct shape, but um, I think it's all right. Here we have some, the vest is a little wonky here. I mean, the face and the skin. You can even see the little marks up here of them that you get from old age. They're all bearded. Just look at the detail on this. This is fantastic. Now, they're all very similar, though. So you're going to need to uh, be a little more creative with your prompts to um, go beyond this. But apart from that, amazing photography. Let's see if we can find... Um, what, do you have a, what do you want to look at? Let's try some nature photography. Let's tie a um, lion on the savanna. Savannah. I, I think that's going to be enough. See what that can get. That can get us. So that looks. Um, what was a cool lion? That one looks very realistic as well. I think it would be interesting to try and get to remove the blur to have like a high, high with a low aperture lens. Because now everything's like that, and I mean that is pretty, but you you might want to be able to control that as well. But they are all looking great. Let me see if we can find some. We don't need to find imperfections. I mean, most of the images are looking great, so it's not going to be a lot of cherry picking if you're doing photography in Stable Diffusion two point one. 
So that's uh, that's really nice, to be honest. Now, uh, this is some sort of weird thing here, but the lion looks great. This lion looks great. Is that a hoof? Is that a hoof? Maybe. Doesn't matter. Uh, this lion's cool. This one... This... Yeah. Looks really realistic. Uh, this is a great image. I like this one. This one's very nice. So, yeah. I hope this little uh, walkthrough is going to help you create some uh, nice images in Stable Diffusion 2.1. Don't listen to all the haters, but also listen to them a little bit. Because some things Stable Diffusion 2.1 isn't great at. The more painted art styles, like your favorite, painted by Greg Rutkowski, and those kinds of images, are a little easier to do in 1.5. It's not impossible. But you're going to need to cherry pick a little more in 2.1 in regards to those images. But um, maybe it's just a matter of someone finding the right prompt, like we did for photography. Before we figure out the negative prompts, I mean, people couldn't get this kind of stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little chat with, that we had. And uh, that you can now use Stable Fusion 2.1 on your own computer. So try it out, see if you can create something cool. And um, if you do, come share it in our Discord. Link is in uh, the description below. If you like this content, feel free to like and subscribe. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. About 1% uh, of all viewers press the subscribe button actually. So uh, the more you know. Until next video. Have a good one. See you on Discord.